Welcome back to Cryptos Are Us. I am George. We're all George. So, welcome to a market open stream. It is Monday and it is glorious. Bitcoin pumps above 65,000. Does not look like it wants to stop. Bitcoin already hit all time high in euros. And here's the kicker last time it did this, this quickly, this fast, its price tripled and i'm going to talk about that today i'm going to talk about a lot of things today it is looking fantastic what did i tell you guys <laughs> i had a feeling about this week so let's do this welcome 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 guys hopefully you guys are doing well i think the only person sweating it out today may be gareth because i think his he tripled down on his leverage not too long ago. Uh, and we're getting close to his liquidation point, I believe. Uh, anyways, uh, look at what's going on with Bitcoin. 65.5. Yesterday, when I was doing my Sunday walk, hopefully you guys caught that. You know, I did say that I think this week could be absolutely fantastic, especially if Grayscale or Genesis does not sell anymore i mean they only need to sell 1.2 billion and last week if you add it up it was about 1.2 billion so it makes sense they don't need to sell anymore maybe there's still others that's trying to sell but man if they stop this week we're hitting all-time high the way we're going right now we'll hit it tomorrow in fact we already hit all-time high in so many countries out there including versus the euro so if you're in europe and you want to buy Bitcoin right now, you have to pay all time high prices, right? It is absolutely fantastic. I did tell you guys, things are going to start moving really quick. We're moving so fast in this cycle and that's not going to stop because we have these multipliers. We have these amplifiers. We have these catalysts. They're all coming up this year and some already hit, but it's not going to stop. CNBC, of course, when mainstream media continues to talk about Bitcoin nonstop, it's going to make people pay attention. Retail investors, Wall Street, gurus, they're going to start paying attention. Like, why am I holding anything else at this point? You know, if you look at traditional markets, yeah, some, some are doing good. Some are like just going sideways. But overall, the quickest horse in the race is Bitcoin. There's, there's no doubt about it. And someone like Michael Saylor and MicroStrategy, um, man, they're just they're just soaring. Twelve hundred today, up another 11, 12 percent, fifty-two week high. MicroStrategy, you gotta give them you gotta give them a hard look. They're they're moving like two or three times faster than Bitcoin now. That's amazing. And even Coinbase, a four percent, fifty-two week high, right? Anything that's related to Bitcoin right now. They're all high. They're all skyrocketing. You know, this is the exact opposite of 2022 and 2023. Anything that was Coinbase, I mean, Bitcoin related was shorted to hell by Wall Street. You guys know what I'm talking about. Even during good Bitcoin days, you'll see like Coinbase go down or MicroStrategy go down because Wall Street wanted to short the hell out of them. That's no longer the case. They're loading up. They're buying hand over fist on whatever they can that's Bitcoin related right now or crypto related, I should say. And that's not going to stop. That will continue more and more this year as we head towards the second half of this year, although we're just we're barely in March. And like I said, if you are living in Europe and you're using the euro and you want to buy Bitcoin, well, unfortunately, it's already at all time high. Yeah, and you may be wondering why. Why is that? Well, because the euro lost a lot of value over the last few years and uh, and has also inflated. And basically, because of it, um, you know, price of goods, services, assets have all gone up. That's why. It's really that simple, right? That's why if you're holding enormous amount of cash, doesn't matter what cash right? Euros or yen or pounds, sterling, whatever. Um, if you're holding large amounts of it and you don't invest, that's what happens. Things get expensive. They get pricey. 
And then you realize you can't buy as much as before, right? So you're silently getting your wealth taxed away. That, that's what inflation is. And all countries do it. They love inflation. That's the only reason why they can, they can survive. Countries need inflation. Countries need to print because they're all out of money. They're all in debt. U.S. has surpassed $34 trillion in debt. Where's that money coming from, right? How, do, how does the U.S. survive with $34 trillion worth of debt? Well, because we have a money printer. And we could turn that on anytime we want. And we could sell, and we could sell that too. We could sell bonds. But what if people stop buying bonds? Well, then the money printers go, go uh, man, we're, we are just flying right now, guys. We're about to break $66,000. <laughs> we might even break all-time high during this stream. That would be crazy. I don't think that's going to happen, but... I don't have any lines, guys. I, I, I draw lines to tell you guys the next points, right? I did say after 637, again, look, it took one, two, three, four, five, six times. There's no more lines to draw. We're, we're just going to go straight up to 69,000, which is like up here. I mean, there's really no lines <laughs> up here. We're, we're, we're about to enter unknown territory, guys. We're about to enter unknown territory for Bitcoin. Um, it's, it's going to be wild. Once we break through, once we get to 70,000, you know, there's no more. You could just throw TA out the window. There's no more levels. There's, there's no more resistances, nothing. We're just going to go straight to the moon. And that's what I'm going to talk about. Um, so yeah, like I said, inflation is a real deal. It is real and it sucks, right? And let's not forget, just 11 days ago, the ECB felt so threatened, they had to come up with a blog saying Bitcoin has failed to become a global decentralized digital currency. Okay. Now, 11 days later, Bitcoin is all-time high in euros. <laughs> so think about the irony. And think about why the ECB had to do so. Because they felt so threatened so threatened that they had to do this. Did anyone listen? Of course not. That that's how big of a joke <laughs> they have become, and and big of joke have uh, uh, have all banks become really. No one gives a s about what they say anymore because they're so outdated with their thinking, and you know there's some kind of hidden agenda, right? Like. Why this out of nowhere? It's probably the ESG agenda or something like that. There's some kind of hidden agenda. Why should they even care if people buy Bitcoin, right? So, yeah. Well, anyways, time to move on. Uh, Bitcoin, it's ETF. You know, I talked about catalyst, amplifiers, and multiplier effects, right? ETFs are certainly having its effect. It's funny that a lot of people ignore the ETFs, said that ETFs will have no, no noticeable, you know, um, effect on Bitcoin. Like what? What? <laughs> when you have some of the biggest fund managers and asset managers on the planet buying up Bitcoin by hundreds of millions of dollars per day, you don't think that's gonna have effect? You think lines and charts are going to affect Bitcoin more than Wall Street buying 600, 700 million dollars of Bitcoin a day? Well, it's obvious they were wrong. Uh, I, you know, I bit BlackRock's, BlackRock's ETF. Man, they are buying at such a rapid pace right now. They had 10 billion in AUM, the fastest in history of any <laughs> ETF right and it's not going to stop even though last week here's the amazing thing look at week eight even though grayscale sold a billion plus dollars worth of bitcoin the net inflow is still positive so you could see that we have tens of thousands of bitcoin being bought per week and they're just being eaten up they're, they're removed from supply and as much as we think MicroStrategy holds. Well, BlackRock is nearing that number. BlackRock may surpass MicroStrategy in overall total holdings this week. Okay. 
And then you have Fidelity that's going up there. You got all these going up there. And all this is doing is taking Bitcoin away from circulation and allowing companies and institutions and funds to buy Bitcoin. And also it does allow retail because here's another thing that I forgot. You know, I've been saying the higher Bitcoin goes, the more retail will be shut out, right? But another way for retail to get involved is to buy shares, right? If they buy IBIT or FBDC or whatever it may be, right? It's much cheaper. They could buy multiple amounts and say, oh, I have 100 shares of IBIT versus I have 0.01 Bitcoin, you know, something like that. Uh, so that also, I think, helps with the psychology of retail investors. So ETFs are definitely making a big impact. And I think we're going to see explosive, explosive, explosive volume this week. Okay, we're going to see those numbers skyrocket today. Today and later this week, it's, it's not going to stop. It's not, it's not going to stop, guys. It's not going to stop. Um, all right. And then uh, we have, besides all the buying, well, this makes sense. I mean, if you have all the buying, where, where, where is it coming from, right? Withdrawals, leaving the, the exchanges or from the exchange, I should say, um, sky high. Exchange reserves are now down to 2015 levels or 20. 2015 for Ethereum, but 2017 and maybe going, no, it was 2015. I don't have the chart. It was like 2015 levels. Okay. Pretty soon. We're not even going to have that many Bitcoin on exchanges. We may actually one day, not this cycle, maybe the next cycle, we'll get to a point where exchanges limit how many Bitcoins you could buy because they're so scarce. That may actually happen. We have seen premiums before premiums are sky high because that happened right now otc market is also drying there's charts that show otc supply going doing that exchange reserves doing that right and demand is doing this so of course prices go go up but you know what again if it keeps on going where's where's the bitcoin coming from we can't just mint more bitcoin like you can with fiat and not only that, not all, everything that I talked about, they're, they're, they're supposed to be, you know, this is rumored, this, this was spread by Max Kaiser, that Qatar, with their infinite amount of money, is entering Bitcoin. Okay, so you know how recently there's been uh, one whale address that's been accumulating Bitcoin, $3 billion? So, you know, I speculate it was Be Bezos, but... Uh, Max and uh, Scaramucci thinks that maybe the country of Qatar, and they may not stop. They may just keep on going and going and going and going because they, they really have like about infinite amount of money. So they themselves can drive Bitcoin to the moon already. And if that's the case, again, it goes to show you, um, Bitcoin is the greatest asset to hold on the planet. And countries will, will be fighting over it too. So, you know, it's funny that we talk about retail, we talk about whales, we talk about corporations, we talk about institutions. Pretty soon, we're going to be talking about countries fighting over Bitcoin. Countries that, that can print as much money as they want. And they're going to be buying up Bitcoin with that. Um, Shatoshi, whoever he, she, they are, is now the 21st richest person on the planet just just because of bitcoin and just because of holding you think satoshi you know was doing anything else he buy some apple stock you think <laughs> maybe he did but that's not the source of his wealth all he did was create the greatest digital currency on the planet mined it and then and then held it and holdled it. Okay, so if they are alive, um, man, that's that's tough. That's tough. Not spending any of that sixty-five billion dollars of Bitcoin. And in case you're wondering, Bitcoin is right below the market cap of silver, neck and neck. 
it may have surpassed it because we're above 66. Let me, let me, oh no, we're so close. We're so close to breaking the market cap, the global market cap of silver. We have done that before in the past, but we're about to do it again. And after we break through that, we're going to jump through all these companies and we're heading towards gold next. Okay, next. That's going to put Bitcoin like $700,000 or something like that or $800,000, but it's going to get up there. Maybe not this cycle, but it's going to come eventually. But if you just think about it for a second, to have a digital currency that has no physical properties, right, to be equal or more than silver, which has been around for thousands and thousands and thousands of years, and with all the paper silver that circulates, Bitcoin is about to surpass them all. The, uh, Detroit Lions, thank you for that. I'm going to take you higher, much, much higher. Uh, Dimitri, Robinhood the same as Robinhood Wallet? No, they are not the same. Uh, Dogo, the next Blanc and Solana network. I have no idea. I haven't seen that. I've been just trading the, the big memes. All right, I'll get to more Q&A when I'm done here. Um, what else is going on? Uh, I mean, just infinite amount of stuff. Okay, let's let's get to the meat and potatoes of today's stream. Uh, tripling the price last time this happened. Uh, we know Bitcoin's going to go higher, right? It may possibly hit all-time high by tomorrow. We're at 66000 already. It's only 5% away. We may hit it tonight. Like, honestly, if we got an influx of buying, we're going to hit it tonight. It's a certainty at this point. We're going to break all-time high. And then things will get even wilder, okay? Because then we'll be in all unknown territory. And uh, and it's just, it's going to be, be moonshot from there, basically. Um, so, yeah, this is what it's looking like. We are moving faster than ever before. We have never, ever, ever come close to previous high before the halving event. And we're about there now. And we're still like a month and a half from the halving event. So we may, some people predict this 70,000 by having event. We may have, we may reach 70,000 by having event. We may reach 100,000 by having event, right? Just think about it. We're already at 66,000. We're going to get to 69,000 maybe tonight or tomorrow. I mean, then we still have a month left, and if FOMO really hit, we may get 100000 before the halving event. That would be absolutely bonkers. <laughs> it's insane if you think about it. The weight of Bitcoin, if it doesn't feel heavy yet, just wait. Just wait until six-figure Bitcoins. Uh, so according to TA, basically, we were in a bull pennant. We have broken out, and the next stop is 74,000. Like I said, 74,000, you know, that's that's not unreasonable. 74,000 by the end of this week? Maybe, maybe. And then here's the thing. Here's the thing. Back in 2021, when we broke through our previous high of 20,000, okay, well, it was like 19,000 something, something. So in 2021, when we broke through, we went up 210% in 103 days. So if you think about that, um, if we break through 69,000 and then all hell breaks loose and then we do the same thing and we go up 210% or maybe we go even higher this time around in 103 days, what does that go put us? Well, according to Bitcoin Archive, it'll put us $213,000 by June. <laughs> I don't even want to I don't even want to speculate on that. I that's just too nutty for me. I originally called 70,000 earlier this year when I did an interview uh for the street. Um I think that was back in I forgot when that was. I think maybe it was January. You know, I said 70,000 by this summer would be absolutely fantastic. And it looks like we may hit 70,000 tomorrow. So we're definitely way, way, way ahead of the game. By June or July, 100,000, 125,000 if, if FOMO continues. 
will not be unreasonable, right? Um, but 213,000, that may be a little unreasonable, but you know what? It's early. We will see. We will see. If it happens, great. Then those of you guys that listened, that hold old and DCA'd, you're going to be filthy rich. Okay, no one's going to be complaining about that. Other than the family members and friends that made fun of you in Crypto Winter, now you get to rev your Lambo right in front of their house. Right? That, that's all that's going to matter. Right? So if it happens, fantastic. If it doesn't happen, that's okay. Because usually, usually what happens is after a halving event, then you go upwards, then you form a new high, right? But it usually takes a while. It usually takes a year and a half before hitting some, you know, not catastrophic, uh, some really, really high number in the atmosphere. That's what I mean. <laughs> and we're about to hit that soon. It's, it's just crazy. Uh, and, you know... And short sellers are losing 110,000 per minute right now. <laughs> you know, the funny thing is I checked, I checked the short, the short wreckage. Like if we had a big short squeeze, we haven't yet. So that means a couple of things. Either we're about to get them or people have finally learned and stopped selling Bitcoin, stopped shorting Bitcoin. So you look at since last night, we have 27 million here. And then we have 31 million here. And then right now we have 20 million. So yeah, that ended up, you know, it's little, 100 million. I say little, 100 million. Um, but, you know, I, ex I expected a lot more shorts being liquidated, but guess not. Guess not. And then lastly, I know a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys love memes. I've been making a killing trading memes these days but yeah when memes are exploding that's when you know retail fomo's back right so this was a big thing that I talked about in yesterday's sunday walk video um but everything every single thing is now back doge is moving uh floki is moving Sheeb is moving blong today especially is moving then you got the new players like whiff myro when cock snack um you know what whatever else they're all moving <laughs> every single one so again it's looking pretty darn good and bitcoin has 66,300 and it does not look like it wants to stop it does not uh my leverage trade on tap it this is my smaller account, by the way. Uh, up crazily with all my leverage memes. <laughs> Sheeb up 152%. Pepe up 185%. Floki up 67%. Bitcoin up 115%. Today, unrealized PL, $26,000 in pretty much a single day. And that's my, that's my degen that I've been talking about. All right, let's do some let's do some Q&A. I wonder if Gareth is going to say he's going to quadruple down on his leverage short because he's about to get liquidated and it's going to be and he he's not gonna be able to stop it oh geez did you just did you guys just see that did you see just just pump up to 66.5 someone just made a huge freaking purchase please explain a 10 year old having 101 dimitri asks every four years the supply the inflation rate of bitcoin gets cut in half so we're going to go from 900 Bitcoins being produced per day to 450. That's the easiest way to, to think about it. Can you confirm the Kraken just ran out of Bitcoin to buy in Europe? It started to pop up screenshots on X. Maybe. I would not be surprised. You know, I, I, I've said this before and people don't don't compute or don't care or don't listen. 
There's only so many Bitcoins, okay? The OTC market will dry up. When I've said that before, people like laugh at it. Oh, no, it's not. It will dry up. Even exchanges will dry up because there's only so many Bitcoin to hold. When retail FOMO's in, when whales FOMO in, and the institutions and companies and countries FOMO in, where are they going to get the Bitcoin from, right? So it would not surprise me as we break through 69,000, we're going to hear a lot about exchanges say they have none. And then, you know, this is how you could tell. If you start seeing their prices deviate, especially for Bitcoin, greatly from the global market price, that's when you know they're running out. I've seen it before with, with uh, Coinbase too. Coinbase charged 3,000 more for Bitcoin versus anyone else because they were running low that day. We'll probably see that. Various exchanges that will be selling Bitcoin at like 3,000, 5,000, 10,000 more than what the, the price should be. That's when you know they're out. Uh, Evan Hall. Is asking peak bull. What do you think Saquon go up to? Evan, just do a 10x multiplier. That's the best way to think about it. Uh, will Snack do a all time high? I think so. Snack is doing very well right now. I mean, they're all doing well. I mean, there's no meme that's not doing well. Kulo's doing well too. Uh, Snack is 146 all time high. Yeah, they're right there. Cock is up 17%, 210 million. Uh, they're not quite there yet, but they, they will be. They'll be. Everything, everything is going up right now, guys. Blanc, I know today, is having a crazy day. Blanc is up 50%. It makes sense because the Coinbase effect is real. You know, when retail FOMO's in, where, where do they FOMO on? Uh, on Coinbase, right? So Blanc is doing very well today. Pepe, not on Coinbase, but still up 46% today. Okay, like literally, you know, this is why she even the slowest moving meme out there is up 29% today. Doge is up 21% today. I mean, literally everything. I wonder if Kulo's up. Kulo's very small. Kulo's not up, but it should be. <laughs> Uh, even was it Floki? Floki's up. Yeah, I don't even like Floki, but they're up. I mean, like literally everything is up today. Um, Ben the dog on Solana. Do you get Myro vibes? Still early. I've not been paying attention to the new ones. I've just been trading the 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 the, the existing ones. Thoughts on crypto.com exchange. If if you if you have to use it, use them. Like I I don't particularly like them or their chain. Why why are the new coins like Celestia say suing crashing when all OGs are pumping? Uh and Data Dash is still holding a stables waiting for eleven K. Uh I don't know. You're gonna have to ask Data Dash that. You know, I think a lot of it's just profits are being shifted around, I think. Because a lot of the OG ones stopped moving for a long, long time. Now money's going back into them. So I think it's just rotation of profits. <laughs> Saul, you, you should you should ask that question to your uh to your girlfriend. Jesse says I sold 10k of XRP for BDC last night. That sounds like that sounds like you made a good decision. I I don't know if XRP's up today. XR Well, no, you know what? XRP's up. But not more than Bitcoin. So you still made the right decision. But today, like Ethereum is lagging big time. Solana is lagging big time. Avalanche is lagging big time. But you can see the memes, man. Memes are just going up like crazy right now. People are FOMOing into what they know, which is like Doge and Sheep. And whatever's on Coinbase, like Bonk. Uh, 
Uh, Boyu fan. Not a fan of either. Why do you think Manta hasn't taken off yet, despite $2 billion in volume? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Like, you know, if you look at L2s, there's a lot, there are a lot of chains that have a ton of TVL and their price does not reflect, right? So sometimes you just got to wait. Sometimes you got to wait. You just, just know that you're holding on to something that has good fundamentals, like how you measure chain, whether it has good fundamentals, basically by how much activity, how many dApps, how, how much TVL. Uh, what's your opinion on plan B and his predictions? I mean, he just goes by with a stock to flow. There's nothing wrong with that. He believes in that. He did admit that he was wrong in 2021, but it's okay. Everyone's wrong periodically. But I think he created a model that that is very viable and many, many, many people use it. Tier one for snacks soon. Hopefully, they need to get a little bigger. One, once some of these memes get like 300, 400 million, then the, the sexes are salivating and they will list. I am new to crypto. I have 5K to spend. What would you buy? Hey, you know what? I always recommend to go with Bitcoin. No matter what, Start with Bitcoin. That may not be the answer you want. Most people come to me and say, what should I buy? Meaning like, tell me all the alpha and like the, all the memes or whatever, right? And I, I can't do that because if you're not a seasoned trader, right? You could get wrecked with the memes. Like you could buy Bonk right now. It's up 50% and tomorrow it's up down 25% and you'll be down 25%, right? Like you need to understand what you're buying. And that's why I recommend everyone to start with Bitcoin first. You'll still see amazing growth. It might not be so exciting because you're buying 0.001 Bitcoin, but still it gets you in the game. It forces you to start learning and paying attention. And then you can start looking at what's different from Bitcoin, like the L1s and L2s, right? Then you can start looking at other things. Otherwise, if you just try to you try to run before you walk, you go trip and hurt yourself, and then you're going to be all discouraged. Yeah, scene, thank you. Where do you see dot this cycle? You know, dot even started moving. I'm not even a big dot guy, but I mean they're 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 up there. Anything anything that's a big cap, and I include polka dot being a big cap, we'll do a 10x at least. Tony, I appreciate that. I'm gonna skip Hemuel. <laughs> I hate that name. I hate that name with a passion. Let's see. Yeah, it's down today. I don't fall for these hype ones. But, you know, when it comes to memes, you gotta give it time. And some people will say, well, if you give it time, you might miss out on all the gains. Well, I mean, because with these memes, you just don't know. You just don't know. I have 1K in Seoul Injective. Do you think they could be worth? What do you think they could be? Just a lot higher, a lot more. Uh, bet me. Zero in price. Too early stage. Check out BDC Power Law chart. A big reason why I never sell Bitcoin. Are you uh, you referring? That's your second big super chat. Yeah, I think uh, I, I'm not going to look at it now, but I know what you're referring to. Um, it, it's a chart basically that measures. Um, well, there's two of them. One is measuring the cost it takes to produce Bitcoin. 
Um, and then there's another one that, that measures against like um, the growth of other innovations that we had before. I think those are the one, one of the two you're referring to. Maybe it's something else. I'll take a look. I'll take a look because it's such a big super chat. I don't want to just ignore you, but I'll look at a power law chart and bring it up tonight. Crypto Ranger. Do you think Garrett's hairstyle that keeps his brain from ever working? <laughs> All right, let's not get too personal. I, I can't comment on his hairstyle or his looks, mm -hmm. but I do. I can comment on his continuous shorting on Bitcoin, which makes no sense. No sense whatsoever. His target is 30K Bitcoin. And his 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 stop is 70,000. And he had to add to it because I think he was going to get liquidated. So, like, unless he's just playing small amounts and, and you know, he gets liquidated. He, I don't think he said how much is, you know, how much money he put in. But if that's like a million dollar short or something, that's going to hurt. But if it's like, I don't know, like a few thousand, then he could care less. But what matters is a lot of people have been listening to him and they've been shorting or they've been bearish and that just hurts them and hurts everyone in general crypto crypto fur appreciate that um paul asks if you're starting out i suggest measure your bdc stack or sat versus the 0 0.002 the average amount of bitcoin per Average amount of Bitcoin per person in the world still seems cheap. It does, but still, no one's going to measure it in, you know, no, no one's going to measure in sats. Okay, people are just going to look at, because most wallets display it this way, unless wallets actually change it, and they just allow you to buy what the price per sat is. Then that might be interesting. That's another way to get human psychology working again. Like you could say, oh, I own like 10 million sats, right? Something like that, rather than display it as 0 0.001 Bitcoin. Um, like something like that would be really good. Taylor Gray, portfolio is up 100%. Congratulations. Couldn't. Uh, couldn't have kept my head in the game without you. Thank you. Um, also, Boss and Bozo on Solana. <laughs> I hope so, too. I hope so, too. Ords, Ordi Swap. Check it out. It's a hidden gem. Okay. Um, message deleted. What do you know about Stacks, Bitcoin naming service, BNS? Why is it not popular? I stack names like King and Crypto.BDC. Overall, I mean, these domain names or naming services, even ENS and Unstoppable Domains have a ton. And then I guess I didn't even know Bitcoin has it, BNS. It's like, you know, it's, it's useful, but no one really cares. <laughs> to be honest, right? Like if I'm sending, I'm sending Bitcoin from one wallet to another, I'm not, I'm not looking at my name. I get the wallet address. That's it. That's what people are aware of. And retail players coming in, they're just buying on Coinbase. They're buying on Gemini, whatever. They don't care about it, right? So eventually, not, not to diminish them, but eventually they will probably be integrated into all the wallet makers. Um, into their wallets, but like, does anyone care? Not really. Do you, th when do you think, uh, Coinbase doesn't list any avalanche stuff when they do, then they'll get listed. Hey, Kimball's up 15% today too. Oh, almost back to all time high. Yeah. They're almost back too. All time on for Alvin Rand and Hedera. Yeah, they will eventually. Uh, can I be your cameraman on one of the Sunday walks? 
thank you, but no. <laughs> I don't need a caravan on my summer walk. Um, I sell all my Bitcoin to Sky High Operations. Why would you do that? Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if you just fell for an impersonator or what. I have no idea what Sky High Operations are. And I hope that was a joke. Um... Gotcha, George. We're all pumped for this all season. What are your thoughts on Coinbase's Dex Arrow? When do you think it'll send more? Uh, that's not their Dex, man. That's probably a Dex they invested in, but that's not their Dex. A lot of people ask me on Aerodome or Aerodrome. Um, base stuff, they're not that popular. So even though this may be the biggest DEX on base, not a lot of people are paying attention to base right now. So that's the reason why. It will catch on eventually. If base gets become a huge, becomes a big L2 that a lot of dApps are on, it will catch on. But right now, I don't hear a lot about base. Any in you is the first omni chain memes on 15 different chains. It could be on 100 different chains. That doesn't make it a better meme. And that name sucks. Dojo on injective. Dojo swap. Too small at this point. Only 1.1 million? Their volume is okay, but still. Um, not a whole lot of DEX activity going on, possibly, in Injective. So that's why Dojo Swap isn't doing that all that well. Man, Bitcoin does not want to stop today. Quant, Algorand, not a fan of either. Arnie, thank you. Jake, want to thank you for making me hold up for two years. You're welcome. You did all the hard work, though. Uh, I've invested in art through Masterworks, also in physical gold. Nothing has given me returns like BDC, up 144K, thanks to you. Ed, Congratulations. Um, yes. Not, you know, if you love art, you like to diversify. Uh, there, there's nothing wrong with that. But nothing will outperform Bitcoin. Well, ex with the exception of other crypto. But I'm saying uh, Bitcoin as an asset class versus art as an asset class versus any kind of collectible versus stocks versus gold, precious metals versus anything. Nothing outperforms Bitcoin. On shorter time frames, they may. When Bitcoin's coming down, longer time frames, it's not even close. Everything is pumping except my bags. I don't know what you're holding on to, man. I mean, to be fair, you know, Solana isn't moving that too much. Uh, Avalanche isn't moving too much. Chainlink isn't moving too much. Polygon. You know, they're really solid projects, but they will. They will. But always have some Bitcoin in your portfolio. I've always said 50% in Bitcoin. Then you won't have this problem. Is Chainlink still good hold? It is. Fantastic. Tony says, you inspired me. I'm running 25x Gridbot and Pepe and Bong, and they're both outrageous. They are. Especially if you catch them right. I study like six seven memes right now and i rotate between my leverage on them um and if you catch it right you could do very well very very well have you heard of cecil the lion on solana i have i have not i have not um the solana phone is making me money they airdropped c with worth 1k that's why the solana phone 2 saga 2 i think it's called saga um, there's like a hundred thousand pre-orders on them because now all these airdrops are worth a lot of money. They're worth more than a phone itself, but it's sold out. 
Uh, Axelar. It's not. It's just, it's a pretty boring project to me. It's, uh, uh, they're into liquidity and they make all these routes and make these, you know, trade. They're like one giant bridge, basically, for liquidity. Not very exciting to me. Top projects for 2025. Things didn't change, man. <laughs> Ryan, no, no, they changed. The same projects that were top projects for this year and last year are still the top projects. With the exception of, like, there's more memes now. Andrew, I, I don't think so. You may be pumping Hemule, but that doesn't make it the next Floki. Uh, Crypto Pooper. Well, I'm sorry, man. I don't know why you would listen. Like, I never tell anyone to do anything on X. Yeah, I'm sorry. And if you follow my official account, I don't know how you got tricked by an impersonator on X. If nothing pumps like Bitcoin, then why hold 50%? No, they do. They do. Especially in a bull market. Like right now, right now, you may seem like, you may look at it like, well, okay, like Ethereum and others are not doing as well. But just wait until the parabolic bull run comes. Then you'll see the other ones start moving like crazy. Big ones still move. Don't get me wrong, but the others will move even faster. Do you think uh, Dog goes the next bonk on Solana? No. That that's just a horrible name. So no. Arnie, I checked Hemule. It's going down. It's not gonna go up. And asking me to talk about his not gonna pump it. Do not buy Hemule. Begging for inverse Kramer, that might you may regret that because if you ask Kramer about Bitcoin today, I bet he's gonna say go buy it. Kramer changes his mind on 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 Bitcoin like almost weekly, so if you ask him about it today, he's gonna say, well, yeah, it's it's pumping, it's near all time high, go buy it. Um, so we probably don't want to ask Kramer about Bitcoin today. Um, Ave, it's kind of boring to me. One of the bigger lenders, lenders uh, in the space, decentralized lending. I think they'll they'll do well. They're multi-chain. They're the biggest one out there, but I'd rather hold L1s over it. At what dollar does Bitcoin become unaffordable for retail? I, I would argue already right now, but like above a hundred thousand for sure. Soul chat, new coin been hot recently. Soul soul chat or soul cats? There's actually a soul cat. Soul chat. It's a messaging, messaging product. Uh, Solana. Oh boy, that was loud. Seamless communication on Solana with Soul Chat. Okay, so it's a messaging app. Um, I just don't see how that's going to become popular or whether people care about it.
Thoughts on ICP? Not a fan. Zeus says, losing patience, waiting for a negative 20% dip. I know it's coming. You keep on waiting, man. Wait until we hit 100K. Look at all these people that are mad trying to show he mule and now they're getting pissed off. <laughs> uh, Kramer said Bitcoin won't reach 69,000. Did he really say that? I hope he did. Means that means we're going to hit it. Um, Isaac, new member. Do you think this pump is the having a pump? No, this has nothing to do with the having. This has to do with institutions FOMO in, like I said it would. Like institutions feel FOMO too. Everyone feels FOMO. Like everyone means everyone is run. I mean, everything is run by humans. So, I mean, it makes sense. Wall Street, those funds, those hedge funds, those funds in general, they don't want to miss out on the juicy Bitcoin gains. They go jump in. Um, other funds, they're adding Bitcoin funds. The banks, they're adding Bitcoin. They're offering Bitcoin services. Like everyone is getting involved. Lazaro, I, I briefly looked at both. I'll just say it's okay. I bought Bitcoin today with 17K. I already have half BTC leverage of 37. Should I combine both the portfolios or keep them separate? Why? There's no reason. There's no right. I mean, if you want to keep them separate, it's okay. You don't have to combine them. It's fine. Um, Tony says the ETS are changing the game and people are expecting things to be exactly the same as they were, but they're not going to be because things are different. Exactly right. ETS are a game changer. Whether you like it or not, whether you think it's good or not, I mean, I've argued this, ETFs long-term are horrible because we're going to have a centralization of Bitcoin. Eventually when those ETFs all load up and they have like a million Bitcoin in each one, yeah, it's going to make Bitcoin a little bit more centralized. So over long haul, it's horrible for the decentralization of Bitcoin. But short term, they're buying up all the supply. That's absolutely fantastic. That's why Bitcoin is going up. It's unlike any previous cycles. We never had ETFs before in any previous cycle. We never had institutions FOMOing in previous cycles. It's different than previous cycles, even though... History tends to, uh, history doesn't repeat, but tends to rhyme, even though, yeah, we do follow some similarities, of course, leading up to the having event and afterwards and the four year cycle and all that. But things are very different now versus before. Very, very different. Um, is silver, a uh, file coin worth throwing into? Uh, for decentralized storage, yes. Uh, can't wait to see a cousin fight in karate combat. James, what are you referring to? T.Y. Russ. Thank you, new member. Every time I fly, Bitcoin pumps. <laughs> you should fly more of that, Johnny. Uh, when you DCA Bitcoin, when is the best time to consolidate UTXOs? What are you talking about? You mean like the other coins that use UTXO like Cardano? Right, bro, I don't, I don't know what you're asking. Thoughts on Sandbox? I don't know. I'm not a fan of Metaverses. Um, so not the biggest fan of Sandbox and Metaverse and uh, Decentraland. But with that said, if gaming gets hot, which I think it will, then they'll probably be both carried by the gaming wave. But I'm not, in general, I'm not a big fan of metaverses. Jesus coin. 
Yeah, I'm not a fan of Jesus coin. That 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 was a big mistake. It's blasphemy anyways. <laughs> Shady Luke sucks. sucks when you have family that has good money and you try to tell them crypto can multiply your money fast and they just won't listen. Well, at least you tried. So who cares? You try, they don't listen, it's on them. As long as you're making good money, then that's all that matters. Data Dash versus Carl the Moon and Karate Combat. Uh, I, have, I asked Carl before. He said no. Uh, Chris, congratulations in terms of becoming a two-coiner. That's a very, very, very hard feat. Very hard feat indeed. So congratulations. <laughs> uh, Kurt Meyer, Google has become an official sole uh, validator, and it will surpass Ethereum in market value. Uh, I do believe that's going to happen. I called it this, you know, earlier this year. We'll see if it comes true. I mean, Ethereum didn't gain some strength, so maybe not this year. But I did say that I think Solana will surpass Ethereum in market value uh, based on all the metrics, basically. But we'll see. Will ETH gas fees ever be cheap? Not for a while. One of the reasons why other L2s are gaining so much strength and L1s too. Uh, Lazaro, I got 6k on the side. I want to buy some coins on red now. I'll be out of money just in case it will pull back your thoughts. I mean, that's why you probably asked about Ando and Zeta, right? I mean, you could wait for a red day. I mean, last week we had a couple red days. You know, when Grayscale was selling, we had a couple red days. You know, you, sometimes you just don't know. Some people are calling for a huge catastrophic drop before it happening. Maybe it happens. Maybe it doesn't. You know, sometimes you just stop waiting and just DCA. Yeah, Shady. I mean, you, if you tried, they don't want to listen. It's on them. Uh, Dan, new member. Welcome. Do you think Chronicle, Karate Combat Token would do well? I think so. More and more people are downloading the app and betting on fights, and you have to have karate tokens in order to do so. So I think they will do very well in this bull run. Uh, once, once whole Bitcoins are exhausted by institutional buyers, will most retail buyers buy through ETS? Possibly. I think so. It makes more sense. I, th I, I think just human psychology is going to take over. Unless all the exchanges start marking Bitcoin in just pure sats rather than decimal points. Like, how many sats do you want to buy? A thousand sats? Great. It's $100. Um, unless they switch that model, most people will not want to buy 0 0.0001 Bitcoin. They'd rather buy like 10 iBit shares, right? So unless the exchanges change how they display Bitcoin, then most will just buy, you know, something else, either another alt or memes or ETFs. <laughs> All right, guys, let's conclude. <laughs> Bitcoin not only pumped above 64,000. 65,000 and now we're holding above 66,000 guys we're less than 3,000 points away from all time high 3,000 points and we're still a month and a half away from having events so let that compute so right now it's looking pretty fantastic ETFs are making a big effect on on what's happening right now but of course, there's so much more that's going on. We have countries that may be entering with their unlimited amount of money. <laughs> um, and we have inflation going on too that's driving people to Bitcoin as well. There's a lot of narratives going on that's making this cycle very different than all previous cycles. So stay strong, my friends. I'll see you guys tonight. It may be even wilder. We may be at all-time high tonight.
So make sure you tune in, 8.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. And I will see you guys later. Have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm.